Okay guys, so with the recent ridiculous announcement of Fox announcing three films for 2018, this brings the grand total of comic book films to the biggest number we've ever had for a single year. Hell, at this point, 2018 is going to be bigger than any two years combined. So let's start off at the first movie coming at us in February 16th, of 2018 and this is going to be the black panther and this is said to be the lead-in movie for avengers infinity war and from all accounts what they've said is the ending of this movie is going to be a direct lead-in now other than that we don't really know much we know that claw is going to be back and we know who the villains are and who some of the cast members are actually going to be other than that, we haven't really seen much other than some conceptual art, and there isn't even a teaser trailer, and it's not expected to come out for quite some time. After the Black Panther, we do still have The Flash slated for March 16th of 2018. Now obviously this movie has had a ton of troubles, multiple directors leaving, some people walking away, the script going back to a complete rewrite. So as of right now, this is probably the only movie in this video that I'm going to talk about that is definitely, most likely I want to say, not going to meet its release date. Unless they're going to rush it into production sometime in the next two months and make it a very cheap, low-budget movie, I don't see this one as coming out. Now, depending on how The Flash goes, the next movie that is coming out in 2016 on May 4th is going to be Avengers Infinity War, which originally was Avengers Part 1 and Part 2, or Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2, but has since just changed to Infinity War. This movie is of course going to be the big gathering of everything in the MCU universe, from the mainstay Avengers to the big hitters in the Guardians of the Galaxy, and possibly everything in between. And this is of course the culmination of everything that's been building up since the beginning of Phase 1, all the way to the ending of Phase 3 with Thanos coming to Earth to gather up all of the Infinity Stones and put together the Infinity Gauntlet. About five weeks after Avengers Infinity War is set to dominate pretty much the world, we're going to be getting the New Mutants from Fox on April 13th. Now this is a brand new announcement of the movie, and this is probably the movie we know least about other than the fact that they are presumably going to be battling Demon Bear, and that this is most likely in continuity with the X-Men movies. Now, which continuity, we don't really know anything about. I'm going to guess if it's part of any continuity, it's probably going to be set in the Deadpool universe. And speaking of Deadpool 2, coming just a few weeks after that, on June 1st of 2018 is Deadpool 2. Now what's known about this movie is actually quite a bit. We know Deadpool is going to be seeing the return of Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Colossus along with some other mainstays like Domino. But not only that, we also do know that Josh Brolin, who will be appearing as Thanos in Avengers Infinity War, will be making an appearance and he has four movies under his belt now to be playing Cable in this new continuity. The movie is expected to have a slightly higher budget than what we saw in the first Deadpool, while also making sure that they still remain very cheap and faithful to what the first movie did. So June comes and goes, and here we are in July for Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is of course the sequel, and follow-up to the first Ant-Man movie, although Ant-Man is fully expected to make an appearance in Avengers Infinity War, but not only that, you know, we're expected that Wasp is going to be a main character as she's been added to the title. And from what we've heard so far by all the reports and some of the footage and, you know, art that's been shown to people, various behind closed doors, this movie sounds like it's going to be absolutely insane. They're going to be shrinking various objects, uh, you know, going smaller, um... To the subatomic level, they're going to be going giant, there's going to be a kaiju-sized bug in the city. It just sounds absolutely insane. And then the rest of the summer is seamlessly dead, although there are rumors that if The Flash is delayed, one particular DC movie could be put into rush production. Previously, they did this with Suicide Squad and were managed to shoot it 
write the script, cast everybody and get the movie out in just about a year's time so they could potentially put out Gotham City Sirens or Suicide Squad 2 or maybe even Deadshot in a August release. We don't really know right now but we probably will by this summer. But if August does not get a movie, we're going to have to wait all the way till October 5th of 2018 for Venom from Sony. From what we know about Venom is that it's a standalone movie not tied to any previous Spider-Man incarnation and seamlessly doesn't seem like they're going to be featuring Spider-Man in it at all, so it's just going to be a Venom movie. Yep. But from the sounds of it, it sounds like Sony is going to go balls to the wall, make this a bloody rated R movie. So maybe that tickles your fancy. And then we move on to October 2nd of 2018, where we will see X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now of course the Dark Phoenix saga has sort of been explored in a previous movie. I mean, they built it up to the third movie and then it... And then the third X-Men movie happened. And then that was that with that cast and then... They came back, but they never really fully explored it. Well, after Days of Future Past and the introduction of a brand new Jean Grey, who we only got to see spew about 15 lines of dialogue, give or take, we're gonna dive right back into the Dark Phoenix Saga and see how they handled this one. Unfortunately, we don't really know anything about this movie other than its title, so what we can assume is that it's about the Dark Phoenix, and it's probably set in the 90s as that was the previous tease. And then finally we come to the end of 2018. On December 21st of 2018 we get Spider-Man, the animated movie featuring Miles Morales. Now this is a pretty bold undertaking for Sony considering the work people that they have set on it are pretty famous for some of their movies and you know it's Miles Morales it's not Peter Parker this is a huge gamble so people might turn up to see it, people might not and the fact that it's animated is going to have probably a, a very different marketing campaign than what we've seen with any previous movie before so this could be either good or it could turn out bad but all we know is Miles Morales is finally going to be coming to the masses and honestly I'm super excited for this one can't wait to see what they do with the character and how they base him in his own world. And coming in as the last movie of the year, day and date with Miles Morales Spider-Man is going to be the solo Aquaman movie. Yes, this is the only movie that we will see from DC Comics in 2018 unless the Flash somehow happens or they add another movie during the summer like I previously talked about. So it's going to be rather interesting to see how they handle this one considering that it is coming the same day as Spider-Man, but not only that, it's rumored that Star Wars is also going to be dropping a movie right around there at the same time. Obviously what we know about this movie is that Ocean Master is going to be one of the villains along with Black Manta and a few other characters. There are going to be battleized sharks, giant creatures, and a whole lot of underwater action, which gets me all sorts of excited. And that is it for 2018. Obviously, there's a lot of movies and there's going to be a lot of competition for the box office dollars that are out there. So you guys let me know what you're most excited for in the comments down below. And as always, make sure you guys stick with CBC for more future updates.